Welcome guys, uh, in this video I am going to show how to build a tree component in uh, react So basically this has uh, multiple folders, it supports uh, nested children inside that So you can have folder inside folder inside folder and file So basically uh, this is the demo that I am going to build from this page So let's go and check uh, how to build this So this uh, tree is created based on this JSON data Which has key label icon title and children again children will contain the same structure it's a nested you can have a multi level of uh, children's and then uh, you can have uh, icons on that i'm using font awesome icon here so it depends on your uh, application you can use whatever uh, icon package that you're already using in your application so let's go and uh, create a new trick component so that uh, we can uh, reuse in multiple places in our application so it's just a simple trick component I'm going to use react snippets uh, to create a functional component and I'm going to name this as a tree okay now um, our basic uh, tree is set up which accepts uh, a property from parent that is data that data is just uh, the JSON object that we just uh, saw before. So let's uh, import this and uh, integrate it in the parent component. So I'm going to implement a tree component here. I'm going to import it. And I'm going to pass the data as uh, the tree JSON as a data. Now let's go into this tree component and start building our tree. So basically we just need the container for our entire tree. And we will write some CSS that I will show you a little later. Basically I make use of uh, the bootstrap library. So I use most of the classes from bootstrap. So here is the unordered list. Basically our tree is a list. So it will have multiple uh, nested list if it has more children. And then for each tree node, I'm going to create a unique component for that. And I'm going to map this uh, initial data. It's a root of the data. So I need to render all the initial folders. And then I need to render uh, child of children's of it. It's like recursively I need to render all the children's inside the tree node. So let us create a new component for this. It's called tree node. And I will pass all this uh, information of this particular uh, tree. Let's call that as node. Since it's just uh, one place uh, usage, I'm going to create it in the same file. If you want, you can create a new separate uh, component file for this. And I get all the node information. That means uh, the label icon and uh, all this information. Here I'm going to maintain a state to whether to render the children or not. So based on the visibility, I will either render or I will hide it. It's just for uh, opening up the children and collapsing. So I'm going to use uh, state hook here name it child visibility and set child visibility to update this now uh, we just need to uh, know whether uh, the current tree node has children or not because based on this we'll be manipulating few things in the code so if the node has children, I make this as a true, otherwise uh, let's make it as false. And then here we will uh, again uh, render uh, the current tree node. So this is a list. And I add a few classes for the alignment and our custom CSS. So I will give the link for this uh, application in the description so you can go and check uh, the code, source code and the demo of this.
next we will start uh, rendering our uh, current uh, tree node and uh, first i am going to render the toggle icon so that uh, before the tree node we will have a toggle icon when we click on that we will expand the tree if there was a children that's why we have a has child we are checking if this has a child only then this carrot symbol will occur so we will add some class for the customization you can display in line and I'm going to have a custom class for this tree toggler to write uh, CSS for this. Now I'm going to use a font awesome library for uh, using the icon. For that I need to add that uh, icon to the library. So let me import fa caret right. Basically, I'm going to use carrot right, and when user clicks on that, I'll rotate that 45 degrees so that uh, there was some animation to open and close collapsed uh, tree node. So I'm going to import this phantasm uh, library, and I'm going to pass this icon. So now uh, once uh, we uh, click on this tree node we will open the children so that we will change the visibility of the child and if it is visible we will add uh, some more class so that uh, to customize this icon the 90 45 degree uh, rotation so on conditional rendering I am going to add uh, the conditional class for this. I have this class and if it is active then I uh, will add an uh, active class to it. So if the child is visible. I am going to add a class called active. So basically uh, if uh, d tree toggler dot active I will rotate uh, the icon for 45 degrees. Now we will uh, render the actual uh, tree name. Basically, this comes from that uh, JSON object. Also, we have the icon for that. Here if you are using this phantasm uh, library then you can use it like this otherwise you can pass the icon uh, with the json object so that uh, you can use it directly here so it depends on uh, how you are using icon in your application or you can manage icon with the class name and then we will uh, show the label node label next thing is we are going to render the children if uh, this is uh, visible and also it should have a child so has child and child visible then uh, we will uh, render it inside a container again uh, since it is again a new tree node I am going to call the same uh, tree node component on this and passing its children as a node these divs are basically for uh, the html alignment and some css so as i mentioned earlier uh, everything is like an unordered list so one unordered list has a uh, another unordered list like it's a nested uh, tree so i'm going to use the same class that uh, we had uh, at the top tree container and here I'm going to call uh, again uh, the tree component passing the current node details so it will again uh, render uh, all its children's if it has children's it will again render its own children's it goes on goes on until it reaches the end of the uh, loop 
so this is uh, implemented let's uh, go and check in the browser so our tree is working but some animation is not there and we need to apply some css for this by uh, removing the list styles all these things but basically our uh, tree is working here the last download this uh, doesn't have any data so it will not open so let's create a css file inside the tree component folder and input this uh, inside the tree component let's input the css and there was no much css for this first we'll uh, remove this uh, list style that is for the tree container list style should be null none and i will get add some padding for that and for the tree node uh, we need to add some padding let's add it to 1.25 uh, round and uh, we will write css for uh, d tree toggle if it is active then we will apply transform and rotate it to 45 degrees that's it these are the four line css that we need for our application now everything is working fine but uh, my uh, the label is text align center so i'm just going to remove it in my parent component so i'm going to remove the stick center and make it a stick left so that it will be aligned to the icon so this is uh, what we want also our tree component is almost ready it has a nested object downloads doesn't have anything so it is showing empty and you can collapse all thank you guys thanks for watching the video please subscribe for more videos like this